Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about agglomerative clustering example and dendrograms. In our previous classes, we discussed about uh, the basics of uh, agglomerative and divisive clustering. This is a continuation class. So, please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete uh, machine learning language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's take an example and understand how agglomerative clustering works. So, let's take an example. The example which we consider here is, so this is our example. In our example, we are having five data points. In these five data points, so we are calculating the distance between each and every data point. This is, we call it as distance matrix. In our last class, when we discussed about the basics of agglomerative clustering, so how agglomerative clustering works is it will take each data point as one cluster that we call it a singleton cluster out of that it has to identify the clusters that are having the minimum distance and join them as a sing as a cluster that is what agglomerative clustering works is let's take an example here so out of five points one to one point one to one distance is zero so next is point second point to first point distance is 9 like that we have written the distance matrix second point to first point distance is 9 the same way first point to second point is distance is 9 that's why we have written only half of the matrix remaining half is just the replicate of this one so we need only half of the matrix 2 to 1 distance is 9 the same way 1 to 2 is distance is 9 so out of this this is our distance matrix out of this we have to pick the two clusters that are having minimum distance so in this we are having the minimum value the minimum distance value is present for 5 1 3 so third point and fifth point are having the minimum distance these two points are combined as a cluster okay that is what agglomerative clustering will do so third point and fifth point so third cluster cluster 3 and cluster 5 becomes one cluster so now what we do here is uh, after combining these two we will update our distance matrix uh, so how to update our distance matrix 3 and 5 combined to one cluster update the matrix uh, in order to update our distance matrix we are having different methods here we are following max method maximum means it's a complete uh, linkage method so what is that method is uh, so we have to calculate the distance between point uh, cluster 1 and uh, we we maintain the we combine the new cluster 3 and 5 become one cluster if you want to calculate the distance this be, between these two clusters uh, so what we can do here is uh, distance of 1 comma 3 and distance of 1 comma 5 out of these two which one is having the maximum value maximum value is considered that is what uh, we are following here we can follow minimum also we can follow average method we can follow watts method so what are the advantages with each and e each and every method we will discuss in our next classes in this class we will understand how agglomerative clustering works and how, what's the example how to calculate that here we are following the max method max method also known as a complete linkage method so let's calculate uh, the distance 1 to 3 3 to 1 distance is 3 5 to 1 distance is 11 out of these two which one is the having the highest one 5 to 1 is having the highest distance uh, so we have to consider the maximum distance uh, so we will consider 11 as uh, the distance between the cluster 1 and 3 5 see the distance between 1 and 3 5 the value is 11 so we updated the next matrix a distance matrix 1 2 3 5 distance is 11 like that we update the distance matrix again and again we have to pick the clusters that are very nearest means the distance between the two clusters should be minimum that clusters have to be identified so let's uh, check this one check the distance matrix out of this distance matrix uh, which two clusters is having the minimum value 5 is the minimum value 5 is between second and fourth one will now combine as a one cluster so this point is picked this minimum distance is picked and this is belongs to second and fourth cluster so so we will combine this as a next cluster so next again we have to repeat this process 3 5 1 cluster 2 4 1 cluster and 1 is 1 cluster 
So total we are having three clusters now. I again update the distance matrix. Uh, so in order to calculate the distance between 2, 4 and 3, 5, how many possibilities we have? We have to calculate distance between 2 and 3, 2 and 5, 4 and 3, 4 and 5. Out of that we have to pick the maximum one. Uh, like that we have to calculate the maximum. Again the distance matrix is updated. Again identify the minimum one like that we have to update till we get a single cluster this is how agglomerative clustering works now let's check what dendrograms means so dendrograms is a visualization of our clusters how clusters are formed that we will visualize using dendrograms in this dendrograms these are very helpful in understanding how the clusters are formed in our agglomerative clustering and divisive clustering. We can construct de uh, these dendrograms for agglomerative and divisive. So, how to construct these dendro dendrograms are, see here, first cluster we formed with 3 and 5. So, on the x-axis, we have to take the data points. On the y-axis, we have to take the distance value, means this this line represents the distance this is very important this is very important to understand this lines represents the distance so vertical line represents the distance horizontal shows our data points first cluster formed is 3 and 5 these are very small and in distance the distance we considered here is 2 that's why the line goes up to 2 okay now next formed clusters are 2 and 4 after that the clusters formed is 1 is joined with 2 and 4 after that we formed a final cluster single cluster this 3 5 is joined with 1 2 4 is one cluster 3 5 is one cluster this is how the representation of dendrograms is a is a so with this we will understand how clusters are formed so let's check the dendrogram for minimum linkage also minimum means single linkage we call it as single linkage see here so instead of taking the maximum value if you take the minimum value between two clusters this is the diagram this is the dendrogram which we formed with in our example let's check what's the difference we observed here in by taking the minimum value in in our previous example when we consider the maximum value what are the clusters formed 3 5 1 cluster 2 4 1 cluster 1 is combined with 2 4 and this whole cluster combined with 3 5 now let's check with the minimum value if you take the minimum value we call it as single linkage 2 4 1 cluster 3 5 1 cluster 1 is formed with 3 5 so what we have to understand here the difference when we are using maximum value we will get one set of clusters the same clusters are not formed using minimum value that point is very very important to understand because when we discuss about the merits and demerits of this minimum maximum value it's very important to understand this point different clusters are formed with uh, different uh, similarity measures which we consider here similarity measures means uh, if you consider maximum value that is one similarity measure if you consider minimum value that is another similarity measures so how it will get affected we will discuss in our next class uh, so one three five formed one cluster and this entire cluster is combined with uh, two four this is how the dendrograms for uh, single linkage means minimum point this is all about uh, agglomerative clustering and dendrograms hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you